give us a brief introduction to yourself. Okay, my name is Judy Kawiga and I'm the president of Akira Chicks. Now, Akira Chicks is an organization that supports women in technology. Apart from Akira Chicks, um, I'm starting my own business, so it's a small startup. Uh, I'm still deciding on the name, so it's either going to be called Juakali or Blukola. What inspired Akira Chicks? There are very few women in technology and whenever we used to, me and my friends, whenever we used to go for tech events, there were always very few women, even in our office. Okay, our office was kind of like the opposite because of the five developers there, four of us were women. But the opposite office had 20 developers and there was no girl. So we felt like there was a serious need, like we, we didn't know like why there were not many girls in tech. So we wanted to build something that would encourage ladies to enter the field of tech so that they can exploit the opportunities available. So hence we decided to form Akira Chicks. Does Akira Chicks deal solely in IT? Everything we do leads to IT because we have um, networking meetups where the ladies meet and share what they have. And from those networking meet meetups, people have formed partnerships and started their own business businesses. Others have gone on on their own to start businesses. We have a mentorship program where we go to high schools to talk to girls about careers in tech. And we just mentor them about issues in life. And we have a training program um, for girls who come from poor urban areas. So we. We want to give them an opportunity to be in the field of tech and then we also have a program for university students where we go and give them like we expose them to mobile entrepreneurs to encourage them to pursue more, um, an, uh, entrepreneurship in mobile tech so okay everything we do is linked to tech yeah so you can say yeah it's pretty much tech tech and women and you and young people yeah <laughs> What challenges did you face as you started out? Starting up was, it was very easy for us to come together and say we're going to form a Kira Chicks. But now actually the implementation, getting like our, the exact thing, our reason for existence, that was really hard. Because you know, um, there's a great demand for women in technology or and women developers. When we first started up, all of us were women developers. So like when guys used to just hear there's a team of women developers anywhere, they would just like throw projects at us. And at first it was a real challenge because you know, we didn't have the capacity to do all that and all of us have got other full-time jobs that we are doing. So it was a challenge to balance. Um, also it was a challenge kind of at the beginning only, selling our idea of supporting women in tech because we were exclusively for women and you know tech is full of men so at first like most guys didn't really understand like what we are doing but right now we've got a lot of buying and support from the men in tech what are your future plans our future the things we're doing are changing rapidly but what i can say is we'd like to have an impact all over africa We'd like to see the percentage of women in tech increased, um, like to 50%. I mean, 50-50, that's the way women, are, um, men, women and men are, the ratio is in the population. Um, we'd like to grow to, to be a full-scale, like, social entrepreneurship business, you know. So, yeah, that's what we are really working on. Um, just how to build Akira Chicks, to impact Kenya and to impact Africa. Right now we are just based in Nairobi. We have efforts of going to Kisumu and Mombasa, but you know, it's, it's touch and go. But we'd really like to set up like, you can call them like branches in those places. And uh, we're currently supporting other women networks in, in Africa, like one in Uganda and one in Zambia. So right now it's like, it's like what we're doing is new in Africa, so we are kind of like trailblazers. So when guys hear about what we're doing, they also want to set up. So we'd like to support other people who have the same vision that we do in Africa. Are SMEs important in Kenya? They create employment for so many guys and they're the SMEs are the ones that are going to grow to be the big businesses. Um, I can say, especially in the field of technology, because I'm in the field of technology, 
Kenya wants to be a powerhouse. We want to compete with India. We want to compete with America. We want to compete with South Africa. You know, we want to be the lead in technology. Um, if we want to do that in 10, in 15 years, we need SMEs because we won't just appear there. We need companies that can grow to be the, the movers in tech. And that's why we need more SMEs in Kenya so that we can have our own Googles, our own Facebooks made in Africa. What lessons have you learned? Team. Team is very important. I think team is like the most important thing. Um, who you work with, you've got to have synergy. As in, you'll have differences, but I guess the, the trick is know how to work through those differences, know how to leverage your differences, because once again, it's not good if all of you think the same. I, I kind of fear when everybody's thinking the same, because I'm like, somebody's not saying something. So yeah, your team is very important. Uh, you have to have vision, you have to know where you're going. Um, or else people will define that for you and you will lose your identity. So you need to know where you're going. Um, you need uh, mentors, like people who you can look up to, people who can advise you, people who can show you, people who you can learn from their experience. And even as you have people who you're learning from, I seriously believe that you need to be giving back, as in you just can't be um, taking, taking, taking. So even as you're being mentored, I believe that you need to mentor other people. You need to mentor the next generation of entrepreneurs, the next generation of leaders, the next generation of whatever you're working on. What advice do you have for fellow SMEs? Well, I'd say just keep on doing what you're doing, as in so that we can have the big companies in 10 years. Um, don't give up. It's really hard. Yeah, and um, work together. That's the only way we can grow if we work together.